about this afternoon about how I might begin this interview, um, but I was going to begin it the way I thought for the past few weeks I might, um, in other words, at the beginning. Um, and then it occurred to me that there's one question that I will not ask this evening, and I'd like to begin with that. <laughs> this is a question about creative process, which I will not ask you about because it's silly. And the question I will ask you is, why is it silly? Hmm. Well, that's a horrible trick question, you monstrous. <laughs> uh, let's see. Why is that so? Because um, it's, it's become, I mean, it's, it's something that people are interested in. However, what is it? Creative process is like, it's sort of my job. You know, it's like, <laughs> I don't know what other process I have. And, you know, creative process makes it sound like, you know, you're, uh, you know, you were just hatched and suddenly, you know, invented something important. You know, it's like, and I wasn't just hatched, I haven't invented anything. But the, the idea, you know, it's like how, you know, take us through this, or let's go behind the scenes, or you know, everybody wants the workings of, it's like, no, that's the part I don't want you to see, of course not. You know, I, I rehearse, I don't let anybody watch rehearsals, occasionally a designer who's working on something, collaborators of certain, uh, you know, different uh, departments, but, I, rehearsals closed. When I was ha having my building design, we had a um, sort of a, a one of the what, what's that school in Brooklyn that did those designs that were so terrible? You know, these young people, young architecture people. Pratt. Yeah, of course it's Pratt. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so it was great because they they did a project. These wonderful young architectural students, architecture students, and they were supposed to design. A studio for me. That was their project. And so I went to look at all their models and their drawings and I thought it was terrible because I was supposed to be all enthusiastic and I said, wow, that's just, that wouldn't work at all. You know, somebody made a big building shaped like a toe. <laughs> you know, and how fabulous. You know, it's, you know, it's like the Oscar Mayer, you know, Wiener movie. <laughs> that if you're, dan you're rehearsing in something that looks like part of you. And everyone, you know, it's like, or then we have this, you know, it's all the, everything is all these broken angles and windows and ramps and, you know, the floor isn't level. It would be so creative. It's like, no, that's exactly the opposite of what I want. What I want is a square room with a nice floor and some light. You know, I don't use, I was just going to say, you know, I don't use mirrors. I don't, I mean, I do for, to train some, you know, to do a little bit of training, but in rehearsal, you have to be actually you there, knowing that you're this far away without me having to look for you. You know, you develop that sense. But it's really like, no, 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 no. I come into the studio with nothing, and so do the dancers. And, you know, if, if it weren't for the, what we call the creative process, you know, I don't, I, I don't even know if there is such a thing. I know that I go in, I say, go like this. It goes with this music. Let's try this. I guess that's creative. I mean, I certainly create things. I create dances from nothing except a bunch of people. And, uh, you know, that's it. It's like there's no, like, secret code. If you learn this, you will be a fabulous choreographer. 